I think it was a good way that we won. It was a little bit frustrating at times. Uh, we had a lot of opportunities that we blew, particularly in the first half. Uh, but we stuck together, and that was a good thing. And our defense played good. Offense ran the ball very, very well, without Buckram, too. And, uh, and our special teams are pretty good. So uh, I think it was a good win because we're not fat and sassy by any means. We're, we still have a lot of work to do, and, and uh, the kids know that, and they want to get back in there and get it get it done. So it was really a good attitude team. It does leave you wanting more, and, and I think even some of the kids that played well didn't, didn't think they played as well as they did. You know, and I know that uh, Trev's a little bit disappointed that he couldn't have. It wasn't uh, running on all eight cylinders. Our, our offense just wasn't clicking in the first half, and then now uh, in the second quarter, in the third. In the third quarter, in the second half, our defense played very, very good. So it was, uh, it was uh, a good win against a pretty good team. Yeah, you know, we we, uh, we had a couple of checks early. We were nervous for some reason. We didn't play full out at halftime. I said, just lay out, guys. You know, go for it. Let's. Uh, we're playing uh, t uh, tentatively, and we did that first. And we blew two checks one time. Kid thought it was a corner blitz, blitzed, and they threw it to the guy lined up over him, you know. So it was uh, just a, a couple key mistakes in that first drive that uh, I don't know why we were we were playing like we're afraid to make a mistake instead of playing, you know, like winners and, and champions. We might need more than a few, it looks like, against Houston. But, uh, uh, you know, it, we just, it's, it's good because we can improve and we need to improve, and no one's thinking we're great. So it was a good, good, good win, good team victory that way. It does get us ready because it's uh, you know everyone. The attitude of the players afterwards was you know hey this you know we can play better than this. Uh, we got to get going. We got to make sure and pay attention to what's coming up. I don't think we took this team lightly coming in. We just didn't really know what they were like. And that, that quarterback in number 86 got some players and a couple of defensive guys that run around and hit. And, and uh, so it was, it was good from that. And it was great to see Banyard and Vernon come in, step in for Buckram and do so well. And, and really, it was really exciting for them. Not particularly a confidence builder. I think it's more of a frustration. It was a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing in the way that we work to get together, the offense, the defense, and special teams. And we supported each other. And we won as a team. Uh, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> I don't think anybody is overconfident about how we play. <laughs> Our running game was good. Of course, we, we had a couple of plays that were just clicking for us, like that outside uh, run by Vernon, where he scored two touchdowns off that same play. And so that was a, and we just motioned to it and then cracked, and it was good. And then they, they finally caught on to it and blitzed the linebacker when he did that and caught him for a loss. But I was happy for Vernon, happy for Banyard. And even, you know, Leland Myers came in and J Jason Williams there ran good. So our line blocked good for the run, no doubt about that. I think Trevor did the best when the play was messed up for some reason is when he really did some good things. He saw people, was that was our third or fourth read, and he threw back across the field and made plays when it was messed up. He did really, really good and shows what he can do. And when everything was smooth, he, you know, he, he made a couple of mistakes. But I, I know he's frustrated and disappointed with his performance. But, and some of the receivers are too because they, you know, we didn't throw that much. But that's okay. We're going to have to get together and get it all straightened out for next week. I was pleased with the defense. I was pleased the way that we talked about it. We had patience. No one panicked. The team didn't panic. Our offense didn't panic. We still called runs when I was getting a little frustrated, but we kept banging that ball away and the clock was running. And our defense kept the ball in front and waited for them to make a mistake and then capitalized on it twice in the first half. For big plays. I was just a guy to be back after being hurt last year. And I was just trying to make plays when I came and every opportunity I got. Yeah, I think as the game got on, we kind of got stronger and realized that, you know, we can play and we know what we're doing out there. So, so as it got further along in the game, we got stronger. I don't know, tonight it seemed to be like that. Like I said, it credit the whole line to everything that all the success we had tonight. No, nah, not really. I mean, I'm just happy to be back out there playing again. I'm just like, when I get in, I'm just trying to do my job and make plays and take the opportunities I get to help the team win. Nowhere near. <laughs> the depth we have at running back, I didn't expect any of those carries like that. But.
I was glad to get him. The feeling of that dude, is unexplainable. Like just knowing that when you're down, another back can come in and get your work done. I mean, you just know we can depend on each other. We're working more than just for ourselves, so it's a great feeling. Um, I think we were all down for a little bit, not knowing what role to play at first. But once we started going and started realizing, you know, we need to play for each other and for our, the uh, other people that are hurt. So we all just got together and talked about it, and we got the job done. It's great to get a win for the first game of the season. Um, the good thing about this win is we got the win, and there's a lot of things we can still correct and make us better in the future. And so we have a lot of things to look forward to and getting better for next week. I don't know if we needed a kickstart. I think we were ready to play. Um, there was just those few execution mistakes that we had that stopped driving. We got stopped on the fourth and a half a yard through the end, uh, interception in the end zone. So, I mean, uh, really, I think we could have scored a lot more points than what we did, um, which is a good thing. And um, we just got to we just got to make those corrections so we can be more solid going into the better team. I do think so. Um, we did the things that we needed to do. Um, got a lot of different looks. Got a lot of new guys in and played. And so the good thing is we have. You know, younger guys that stepped in and actually got to play while the game was still a game and not just doing cleanup duty. So, that, you know, that's going to help us in the future. I'm just trying to take what they give me. I'm not really, you know, focusing on uh, who people assume is going to be the number one, number two receiver. I'm just trying to take what they give me. We know they're a good team. Um, they've always been a good team. They're going to give us a good fight. And knowing that. Um, you know, we got the win against them last year. You know, they're going to be trying to fire back at us, and we just got to prepare ourselves to go down there for a five for four quarters. It, it was a really big play. We, uh, you know, coming out of halftime, we felt like the corners and stuff were sitting on our route, so we're going to try and take them deep. And um, really, the scramble was just because um, we got a little bit of pressure off the edge, and so I stepped up in the pocket and got out. And he was really just standing down there by himself and threw, and he made a big play. Um, it really kind of gave us some inspiration because it was a big play. You know, we had a few big plays in the game, but our offense really based on making those big plays and firing us up to keep us uh, executing the offense right. Um, th those plays will come. We're more worried about um, being a consistent offense and moving down the field and being able to score points. Um, it doesn't matter if we score a 70 yard touchdown or if we score a two yard touchdown, as long as we're getting points in the fourth is what we want to do. That's the strength of our team, you know, the chemistry, we came together. And, you know, we talked about it, we made adjustments, and we're a mentally tough team this year, you know, more than in years past. You know, we, we may have, you know, in previous years, pouted about it and, you know, just went and, you know, kind of gave up in the second half. But, you know, we were mentally tough. Coaches made great adjustments, and we went out and executed them, and we shut it down. You know, just beating up our flats. So, you know, we we took that away from them and made them, you know, try and throw downfield, and I guess... You know, he wasn't comfortable throwing downfield, and that allowed our pressure to get there. And, you know, that just that was their offense pretty much in the first half. So, I mean, once we took that away, you know, they made him have to come up with a different answer. Yeah, definitely. I, I can't wait. You know, Houston's a great team. You know, they got to win tonight, 1-0. and You know, all week, you know, we're just going to strive to be 2-0. and It's going to be a great challenge, and we're up for it. That's, you know, what we talked about. We wanted to come out and try and break their will in the second half. And, you know, we're... I guess disappointed at the first half, but we responded in the second half, and that's key. You know, just responding. You know, I challenged the defense at halftime to respond. You know, and we did that. When the offense came out. You know, they put some points up there. That was huge. You know, it's it's always easier to play when the offense is scoring on defense, and you know, we just kind of broke their will eventually. Uh, well, coach uh, saw what the protection they were doing, and uh, he just set us up to make plays because uh, we didn't know what they were going to run. So after the first drive, coach knew more than likely what they were going to do, so he said, let's make plays. Oh, man, it's just great. I want to explain it. It's just a great feeling. Uh, just a uh, little mistakes, you know, uh, hitting our gap right. You know, I don't know how I'd look, but I'm feeling. We'll learn.